it's Susan and this is the Outdoor Gear Review. Today we are working on a project on Lone Wolf Mountain. And we are going to take this big piece of locust right here. We're actually going to find some more, but we're going to be making some fence posts. Down at the entrance here to Lone Wolf Mountain, we have a very rustic gate. It actually needs quite a bit of work, but until I can get a new gate and really actually reposition it, we need to put up some small little fence posts basically to stop the neighbors from riding their four-wheelers up here which we haven't seen any evidence of, but with this area being so remote, you need to kind of seal off your property to prevent people from doing such things. So that is what we're gonna work on. Now, as you guys can see here, we have a pretty good size piece of locust, and we're gonna be able to cut this in half. That'll make two posts, we'll probably need some more, so we're gonna first start off by hacking this in half, and we're gonna put some points on these so we could drive these into the ground. And then we're gonna to have to go um, scavenge in the woods and get some more locust trees and cut those down and make more posts. Locust is the perfect wood for a fence post. It's incredibly dense, it's incredibly hard, it does not rot very quickly, it's very much weather resistant. And that is why we are gonna use some locust. We might as well get started. Now I could use a handsaw for this, but like I said before, this stuff is so dense, it's so hard. And if we have a chainsaw, it definitely makes our life a whole lot easier. All right, we're ready to begin. And I'm gonna take this small little piece of wood here and I'm gonna put that underneath my locust log. And that's for multiple reasons. One, I could put my foot down, I could control the log. And also when I cut through it, I don't go right into the dirt and possibly hit a rock. I'll go ahead and put my safety glasses on and make sure that the bar is locked. Cover off. There we go. Almost even. Perfect. That'll do just fine. Now we need to take the hatchet and put a point on both of these so we can hammer them into the ground. So here we go. We're going to start with post number one. Now as you may be able to see, this has a slight curve to it so that wouldn't make for a very good point. So that's going to be the top. This is where we're going to put the point at. Right here we have a carpenter's axe. I just sharpened it this morning and it's going to do a fine job. Now. To make this process very, very simple, we do have this chopping log, and that is definitely very useful. You could take the post, and I'm gonna hold it at an angle so that one edge of this is not flush with this chopping block. So, that way I could take my hatchet, and I could start going around and putting a point on it. And it doesn't have to be a sharp point, it just needs to be a point so it can easily go into the ground. So here we go my friends, that is good enough just to pound into the ground. Like I said before, the tip for a fence post does not have to be very, very sharp. Whew. <laughs> I need a vacation. My hands are very tired from doing that. Susan has volunteered to uh, pick up the next one for us. Yeah, I don't think Luke should be having all the fun out here while we're working today. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> have some glasses. We'll take a break. That's not a good handle, is it? Not really. It's a horrible handle. All right, well, I finally got mine done. That is really hard work. Maybe I should have just let Luke do them all, but that wouldn't have really been fair. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head down to the end of the road with these two posts and put them in and see how many more we're gonna need. There's no point to run off, cut a bunch of trees, make a bunch of posts when we really don't know how many we need. Okay, so we're at the end of the road for the property. And this space right here is where we need to put our fence post in. Actually, when we came to view this property, the gate goes right here and they could not get it unlocked. So they actually drove up right here. And so I think for maybe the past year or so, people have gotten into a habit of driving up right here. 
So we need to fix that so that people don't do that and we can keep people with four wheelers out. So you can tell by the size of this post that that's the purpose of it. It's not gonna keep people from walking up here, but for the most part, this is a great area. I don't, we haven't had any trouble so far, um, but we just wanna make sure that four wheelers don't come up here. We have been warned about that. So we're gonna start here next to the post. We're gonna use a sledgehammer to pop them into the ground. Susan's gonna hold them for us. All right, for fence post number one, that's pretty good. This is just a temporary fix until we move the gate back some. Whew. Let's go to number two. So post number two is now in the ground. We're gonna need some more though. We're thinking that we need about six more posts. What do you think? I think six will do it. Absolutely. You know, and like we said before, our plan is actually to move this gate back so these don't have to be really, really enforced. They don't have to be buried too deep into the ground. Really, it's just to get that point across, hey, you're not going up here. All right, let's grab the chainsaw. Let's go into the woods. Let's find some more logs. Okay, so we're in the woods right now and we found a downed piece of a locust and it should be fine for the post that we need. We're back here getting the rest of the post finished. I had to switch to the Estwig Axe the little hatchet that I was using, it actually kind of broke, so we had to pull out this big one. Beautiful. Okay. Perfect. Okay, turn. Okay. 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 Okay, good point. That's pretty good. What do you think? Yeah. All right. Thanks guys for joining us today as we worked on this project for Lone Wolf Mountain. We've got lots of work done, but yet we still have lots of work to do. And one thing that we quickly realized was that, man, time is flying by. Trying to record this and trying to get that work done is a very, very difficult thing to do. So we have three more posts that we're gonna go put into the ground. And we're just gonna go ahead and wrap this up for now. You guys saw and learned a number of new techniques. Awesome. We will definitely bring you guys back and show you the completed project. But as always, thanks so much for watching us. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we will see you guys around. Strength and honor, be well. Bye. Got him. Wow, he so is cool. cool. He is awesome. The wise owl, isn't he?